Hi! In this video, you'll learn about the progress target image, how it works, and more importantly, how to use it. Let's get started. In order for a progressor to show you uh, its value, we use different progress targets. One of these progress targets is the progress target image. It is used to update the fill amount value of an image component. And let's create a simple progress bar and uh, let's use images. So let's create an empty game object and we'll call this progress bar. Let's uh, set its size. Let's put it on the bottom of the screen and let's say 56. That's a bit much. Yeah. And let's create a background. So create an image and this will be our background. Let's set it to fill the to fill its parent. Let's set it to a dark, a black with a bit of transparency. And now this is the bar. And this is the one that will get uh, updated by, uh, by the system. So let's copy this and let's set it like that. All right, now we need a sprite, any sprite. I'm gonna use a simple square. Where is it, a square? and set it to field because remember the image, um, the progress target image updates the fill amount. This is the fill amount. Right now this looks like this, but I really want it to be on horizontal. So I have it a like a bar. And now let's add a progress target image. That's all you have to do. It references this image automatically and it upgrades the progress from a progressor. Now we need a progressor to update it. So on the progress bar, let's add a progressor. Let's add the, a progress target, this bar. And believe it or not, that's it. The progressor uses progress targets to update certain things. In this case, we have update the image fill amount value. And this is how you use it. Let's also see it in action because right now I'm showing you in the editor. Yeah, I'm messing around with a slider and that's it. And let's link it to this view, this is uh, let's press play, just so you see it. So we have this view, and I would like to see when this view is visible. Number one, when it's visible, and when it's not. Well, I'll just uh, use a progressor to see it. So show progressor. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna even update when it's hidden and check it out. And now I know it's visible. Now I know it's not visible. And that's it. Let's say I want to add another image. Let's say a circle. So let's add an image. And uh, let's come here. I'm in play mode, but it doesn't matter. And let's make it uh, like so. Let's copy this color, make it a bit brighter maybe. And let's select a circle from here maybe a bigger circle and let's set it to field, something like that. Again, I add a progress target image and let's reference this image here. Let's add it to our progress bar and check it out. That's it. Is that easy to, to work with uh, this component? So, Again, a progress target image has a, an image as its uh, target and it updates its fill amount, this value. This way you can create with, with uh, a progressor script and just one image with a progress target image. You can create any type of progress bar you can imagine. Simple and efficient. Okay, that's it. Thank you.